Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Rank Review. Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the flow of victory. So, the flow of victory involves two things, card advantage and negation. First, let's talk about card advantage. Card advantage. What is it? In Yu-Gi-Oh! Card advantage essentially means in a turn having more cards than your opponent. I'm just gonna keep it simple there. Or essentially having more of an advantage in terms of you've drawn this amount of cards, you've added this amount of cards that you need. In Yu-Gi-Oh! If you add four or draw four plus cards, you are usually your opponent can usually deal with that depending on their level of Yu-Gi-Oh that they're in, whether they're competent or highly skilled. However, 90% of the time or 99% of the time, if your opponent or yourself has added five or more cards or drawn five plus more, more cards, then usually that game is done. So at that point, stage in the game, there is no way to usually win that duel. Now it depends on the level of player you are or whoever's playing who's added five or plus cards. If the player who's playing it is not familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh and they're quite new to Yu-Gi-Oh and they've added five plus cards, then it is possible to win that duel. Also, if that player makes a mistake, you know, during the duel, then it is also possible to win that duel. But 90% of the time, if you've added five or more cards or drawn five or more cards by this time or stake in the game, it's done. The flow of victory is in your favor and you're 90% sure to win that game if it's you or your opponent that's been, that has done this action. Now, another sign of the flow of victory flowing in your favor is being able to add a card that you need every turn even if it is one card or two this also shows a sign you are in the process of winning this duel because the advantage is on your side you keep adding a card or drawing a card from your deck to your hand and this is extremely crucial especially in building up this advantage for you to win in Yu-Gi-Oh! so remember when it comes to card advantage it involves drawing cards more than your opponent adding cards as well and also consistently adding cards every single turn if possible so if you're playing you or your opponent and you're able you or your opponent is able to add a card from their deck to their hand or draw a card from their deck to their hand every single turn if it's one two or three cards you know possibly then the flow of victory will flow in their favor and they're more likely to win that duel. I say likely, it depends on the skill level and depends on the deck and cards involved and strategy that you have as a player or yourself to defeating your opponent or them defeating you, vice versa. Okay, so let's talk about negation slash disruption. But before we cover that, I would like to reiterate and you know go back to what I was talking about with the flow of victory and card advantage. So the things I said about card advantage are drawing more cards than your opponent and adding more cards than your opponent. Now when it comes to adding more cards this also involves adding cards from your banish zone or graveyard. So let's just leave it there and go to the next area which I'm going to, which I'm going to talk about which is negation slash disruption. How do we cover this? First of all, when it comes with negation, helping you achieve that flow of victory that flows in your favor, right? when you or your opponent has usually two cards, you know, that negate or disrupt your opponent, then you or your opponent can get through that easily if you bait your opponent out. The same thing with three cards that negate or disrupt your opponent. Usually, if you play your cards right, and you lay out some bait cards you're usually going to be fine you're not going to make the best board there's a way you can play around this it's when we start getting four negates or disruptions that is when we hit a little bit of a brick wall here and it's very difficult to break this board especially even if you're a competent you view a player even with a high skill level it is really nearly impossible in you view sometimes to break a board that has four amounts of negations or 
poor amount of disruptions. It's quite difficult. Not saying it's impossible, but this is where it really starts to get difficult. This involves you putting cards you know, from your side deck, especially you know, if you're in a competition, hoping that you will draw these cards that will help you out of the situation that you've got yourself in. It is now when you've reached five modes of disruption and five modes of negation, that is when you're done. You're cooked, son. And this is at the point in time where it doesn't matter what you play, you're, you're not breaking the board. Five amount of negation or disruption on the board, whether it's from you or your opponent, when you've hit that number, then the flow of victory is completely on your side. Now, it depends as well. If you can do this every single turn, then definitely the flow of victory is on your side. However, if you can only do it on one turn and you pull off this bluff, then it is possible for you or your opponent you know, to win. There is a small chance, but the chance is still there. So remember this, but things can change, Yu-Gi-Oh! And we don't know whether you'll be able to break this board, you know, with five or more means of negation or disruption. And that's essentially it. So remember that negation slash disruption is a way of attaining and having more of it definitely will discourage your opponent into winning that duel. And you have a higher chance of winning. Usually five amounts of negation or disruption is the benchmark and usually is the point in time in Yu-Gi-Oh! where there's no conceivable way you or your opponent is going to be able to break that board unless you or your opponent has made a mistake in making that board. And mistakes do happen guys, mistakes do happen. So bear that in mind, we're only human. But 90% of the time, the flow of victory will flow in your favor or your opponent's favor if they've made this kind of board. And that's essentially it. You are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe, hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.